Welcome to the YouTube channel. Remember to rate <laughs> and subscribe. Back into our system preferences here. I'm going to show you how to add shortcuts to your SSB. You just go into our shortcuts here, and this is just like in Google Chrome. Say if you type in GI for Google Images, and then a space bar, you can search Google Images for whatever you type in. So I'm just going to show you how to add one of those real quick. Just click the plus button down here, go double click up here, choose the shortcut, It'll be GI, which you can see is actually already added down here. I'm just going to show you how to add it. Then we want to find our URL, so we're going to go to Google Images. Then we want to search, say, for Legos. And then we're just going to copy this whole URL right here. We're going to bring it over here and we're going to paste it right there. Okay, now if you notice, there's a percentage at sign after all the equals. So that's what we want to do. We want to find our equal. And you see there's the Legos right there. So we just want to delete all that. And we'll add the percentage sign and the at sign. Then we'll simply go back over here. We'll do GI space. And we'll search for Facebook icons. Now you see it did a Google search for Facebook icons. You can do that with any URL. We'll do one for YouTube real quick. Let's do youtube.com. We want to search something up here in our search box. We'll do Demanian33. We'll search. Brings up all my videos. We have our URL up here. Again, we just copy the URL. We want to bring it over here. Click our plus sign. I'll do YT for YouTube. And we double click over here. We want to Command V to paste our URL. And we have a results search query equals. And then after the equals is our search. So again, we just want to delete everything after the equal sign because that's what we are searching for. Then we want to add our percentage and our at sign. And then press Enter. So now if I go over here, I'll just do the backspace button. And I'll do YT. Say we'll look for Mr. Demanian. Press enter. And it does a YouTube search for Mr. Demanian. If we want to change the, the icon for our Facebook, we'll just go into general. And you see we have application icon here. First, we're going to need to go get our icon. So I'm going to, I actually have one already open. You want to get the biggest size possible. This is a very nice Facebook icon here. I'll just drag it onto my desktop. And you see it is a .png file is what you want. You don't want a .jpg or a .gif because it'll actually put all this white, this box. Your icon will look like a box, just like my Google one does down here. See, it's like a box, and so is hollow. We don't want that. We just want the circle, so we want a .png file. So we're going to go back over here into our, into our Facebook preferences. We'll click Change. We'll locate on my desktop. Is my Facebook icon. We'll just locate that real quick and we'll click open. You see it says relaunch may be required to display the new icon. If you look on the dock, it's actually already changed it for us. Now we have a very nice icon for our Facebook SSB. It has a tiny URL feature, so any URL we can make it into a tiny URL. So if we want to copy and paste the URL somewhere, you see create tiny URL for this page. I'll actually create the tiny URL for you. So if I do command V, you see there's my tiny URL. Say if I'm tweeting or something and I want to make the URL a lot smaller, that's a quick and easy way to do it. We can also mail the link to this page. Or if we visit a website that seems to be down, we can see if it's down for everyone or just for us. We just click that. And you see it's just you. So it's a very good feature about it. Another thing, we can also choose our preferences for our cover flow. Let's go back into our preferences here, show all. We'll go to our thumbnail plugin here. And these are all the different sites that our, our thumbnail plugin works for. And it's the same way. You just click add if you want to add another one and double click there. I actually have a really hard time with this one. I can get the URL pattern there. But the CSS link or image selector, I have a hard time figuring out what that is. So I really can't show you that. But he does have a video on his website, link in the description. I would go ahead and show you Cruise. Cruise is a web browser made by the same developers of Fluid, and it operates the same way as Fluid, only it is an actual web browser, not a site-specific browser creator. 
So as you can see, it looks just like Fluid. Well, if you notice up here, we have Twitter built right in. So we just click on the T to open that up. We want to add a Twitter account. It'll take us into our cruise preferences. And then we just go to the Twitter there. See, we can click the plus button. We can add a username there. You just close that window when we're done, and you see it's loading my Twitter. Um, it does support multiple Twitter accounts. We can change between each account just by clicking on this guy here. If we scroll down to the bottom, there's this more. I believe it's a different language. It just means more. We can view all our tweets. We have our at mentions here as well. One thing I actually don't like about this Twitter application, which really defeats the purpose of running Twitter in the sidebar, is the fact that, as far as I know, you cannot actually tweet from the application itself. You'd have to click on your name and go to your Twitter and tweet from there. One thing I do like, you see, it has these uh, URLs right here. Uh, anytime you click on a URL, it will open it up in a new tab. Another thing I like about Cruise is it's uh, true full screen. We go to Window over here. We can do toggle full screen mode. And you see now we are in full screen, actually changed our display to the HUD black. And our tabs and our bookmarks and everything still works. We can do Command Shift B for our bookmarks bar. And we can do Command Forward Slash for our status bar down at the very bottom to toggle that back and forth. If we want to switch to another application, we just do our Command Tab. I'll say we'll go to Google Chrome and you see it actually kind of hides the window for us. And we can just simply go back using Command Tab as well. One thing that I forgot to mention is that Cruise and Fluid both support Apple scripts. So you see up here we have our little Apple script menu and we can do a new user script. If you know how to do that, that is very nice. So there you have it, folks. That is uh, Cruise and Fluid. All links will be in the description or in the info box. Remember, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. If you like the video, please rate it. If you don't like it, please rate it. If you did like it, please subscribe. See you next time. One thing I forgot to mo one thing I forgot to notice, <laughs> one thing I forgot to mention in Fluid is that Fluid and Cruise are both, one thing I forgot to mo one thing I forgot to mention is that Cruise and